when the schedule came out, everybody wanted to see when do the Chiefs play the Ravens. What a great matchup to have these two quarterbacks go head to head once again. And the city looks dominant as ever. You look at Patrick Mahomes. I mean, there's nothing like what else is there to say, right? It's like five touchdowns, four in the air, one on the ground. He was throwing bombs down the field with such precision where only the offensive player can catch it. Nick, did last night prove that the Chiefs are the best team, respectively, in the NFL this season? Oh, that was proven in the Super Bowl in the playoff run. We've been known. You know, us going into Baltimore, you know, it was a big-time game, you know, big-time opponent. A lot of people, you know, had them favored. I think in our minds, you know, we just accepted the challenge. What the Chiefs did was send a message on offense you got Andy Reid drawing up underhand shovel passes to fullbacks, leak outs to left tackles for touchdowns. And on defense, they let the biggest, toughest bully on the block know. It's all about us. We more so focus on the things that we do well, who we are, what's our identity. And I thought, you know, we stepped up to the plate. I was excited about the Baltimore game. I thought it'd be a really good test for each team early. Uh, the Chiefs dominated that matchup, right? But they were getting a lot of praise from everywhere. Like, hey, you know, Kansas City is amazing. Blah, blah. And it, if your team is not filled with like veteran leaders who are about solely winning, who've seen these traps before, it would have been easy to kind of fall off intensity wise. But I think that shows a level of focus that this team has about winning. Hey, Coach. We are ready when you are. Um, we look forward to the challenge of playing uh, the Patriots. Um, you know, we know they're a heck of a football team. And we've had a good week of practice uh, in preparation for them. It should be an exciting game. I think mostly, you know, you just get excited to play, especially Saturday, the day before the game. Um, the juices are flying. You know, we're trying to set the right kind of, you know, mindset. And, um, you know, I like our team because it no, do, doesn't matter what we go through. It uh, doesn't matter, you know, how high we may be flying or how low, you know, we may be living. Uh, we can always rely on each other, you know, and that's how can we make our football team, you know, just 1% better. Um, and I think that's our goal to go out there, do our jobs, and find a way to collectively play some good football. We're following this developing news here on Good Morning Football Weekend. The Patriots starting quarterback Cam Newton testing positive for COVID-19. Randy, I just hung up the phone with the Patriots, and they obviously have put everybody through another round of testing. This is just such a stunning development to happen on the Saturday. Everything you guys have been saying is all correct. I think right now there's so much uncertainty. After we had already found out, you know, the game was going to get postponed, our initial reaction and, and you know, what we kind of shared with our teammates was to just stay in it. You know, it's a lot that goes into, you know, preparing for each opponent. Whenever they do tell us, you know, it's time to play, all of us uh, need to be ready to go. This is a business, like the NFL is a, pro football is a business. So forfeiting is not really something that we've seen in the league before. Like they try to play all the games to fulfill the television contract. So they really try to do that unless there's like an act of God, right? Unless there's a, you know, some sort of weather factor here. And good evening, everyone, from Key Largo, where the winds are picking up here. My name is Mike Davidson, and I was the equipment manager for the Kansas City Chiefs in 2005. When we had a change of plans at the last minute, we were scheduled to play Miami Dolphins in Miami. And due to a Hurricane Wimbledon, we found out the day before Thursday morning that we were going to be in Miami playing on Friday night. It happened on Friday night as all of us thinking about those in Florida and elsewhere, Hurricane Wilma bearing down. We were born through the week and we heard about the hurricane coming to Miami. We're thinking, I guess the game would be postponed. I don't know, we just probably won't play. I didn't know at that time. But I tell you what, NFL is about responding, doing adversity. Even though it was a weird week, nobody cared. You know, when the game came on Friday, we had to perform. He got enough. Does he have enough? He's Things happen, and it's how you respond to it. And uh, Coach Vermeil thought it was very important that it was recognized. And for that, the game ball was a good opportunity and a good way to say, hey, good job. You guys pulled this thing off.
the Chiefs are, are tremendous when you talk about leadership. We just scored. I miss you. Let's go. Let's go. To have Pat Mahomes, Kelsey, Rockins, and all his Hitchens. And, uh, when you talk about guys that leadership bleeds through the whole organization and through the fans. So this pandemic, it's a lot of changes going on. Another one, huh? All right. But well, we got him oh, with that schedule. No matter, man. Handle adversity. How we gonna handle change? We gonna go out there and play for each other, play our ass off for each other. T's on two, one, two. What the Warrior look like? We got one job to do. Let's show the whole world who we in. I'm proud of the Chiefs for just getting ready each week to play because you never know what things come up. So that whatever happens, you just gotta be ready for change. All right, Thailand! Touchdown, Kansas City. Every year, you know. It brings about different challenges, uh, new obstacles. Off of and by the Honey First, you know, you have to be willing to accept it. Tyron Matthew, pick six. Keep the channels on us. Water, come. It's all about getting better. It's all about using situations that, that you may feel like aren't in your favor. You have to find a way to, to work around it. You got to find a way to work through it. I mean, I think most importantly, you got to find a way to bring your teammates with you. You know, I think for me going forward, it's, it's all about continuing to encourage my guys. You know, it's a long football season. You know, I can't get down. So I think we got a lot of leaders, you know, all, all over our locker room. A lot of us lead in different ways. But the most important thing is the work that we put in, you know, we do that so that our teammates can trust us, so that, you know, all of us are able to go out there and trust each other as we're doing our job. You know, life's about overcoming adversity of all forms, right? And, you know, if you just look at Andy Reid's football career, he's overcome plenty of adversity, right? And I feel like he's always just been so steady. Congratulations, man. You bear down. Now we get ready. One I mean, more. I can't tell you how many devastating playoff losses I had to interview him after. And yeah, I thought they played their hearts. You could tell, like, the next day he was thinking about, okay, how can we fix this? How can we take the next? And I think it says a lot when you don't let defeat, like, defeat you and your purpose. When the Chiefs hired, you know, Andy Reid, they were in need of a reboot. And I think, you know, what actually has kind of happened is a story of how you can come back. First of all, I love the Chiefs' kingdom. Man, I love that term, huh? See a red, the Chiefs' kingdom. Oh, God, man. You know, you kind of have to say, all right, we can change our fortune if we just hire the right coach. In time, you combine with a quarterback, you might even win a Super Bowl. Like it, like it. So I think looking at Kansas City right now, there's not a whole lot that's going to stop you from winning double-digit games every year and contending for championships.